Hey guys, this is Jason. In this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, 5454, least number of unit integers after k removals. We're giving an array of integers, and the integer k find the least number of unique integers after removing exactly k elements. So we're giving like 554. We need to remove eight, one element. We could remove five, we could remove four. If we remove five, we're gonna be left uh, five and a four, so there will be two unique numbers. But if we remove four, we actually will get uh, two fives. But it's what the only, it is only one unique number, so uh, it's the best, uh, it's the optimal result, right? And if we get away like this, we need to remove uh, three elements, so we could remove two and a f four and two, and it, and uh, we could uh, be left with three and one. That's two. Well, we've already we could already see uh, the input. Okay, the input there will be a lot long array, and the integers might vary from one to all, all positive, and uh, k will be valid. Uh huh. So uh, from the example two, we already have we already get to get to the hint. Like uh, we could just remove the numbers with least uh, amount, right? If we wanted to uh, to be left with the least uniqueness, uniqueness, I mean unique numbers, we actually we to to how to say maximize the uniqueness we could achieve uh, uh, from this k uh, element we remove right if we uh, remove three elements the best case is that every time we remove elements we could remove one uniqueness right so we find five four and two which could be removed with one uh, uh, well could be removed with one uh, element so we can maximize our uh, power of this k element so the idea is idea is simple we, we uh, maximize the uh, uniqueness from k elements. How could we imp how could we achieve this? By uh, by uh, by counting, right? By counting the numbers and then sort. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Let's create a uh, let's create a map to. We map to 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 hold the uh, the count of each numbers or increment it if it has it or set it to one as initial value. Cool. Now we sort them. So we need, but but when we sort them, before we sort them, we need to get the unique numbers, right? So unique nums. Cool. And now we sort them. Uh, actually, we don't need to sort them. We only need we, we we don't need to get to know the numbers. So this is we we only need to need the count. So this is actually not numbers. We should unique counts. Uh huh. Sort. This will after this we will get we will have four two, which which uh those numbers that have least uh least count, and uh, to to be at the head of the uh, of our unique counts array, right? So now we would uh, just uh, try to remove a one by one, remove them one by one to see if our uh, to 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 see how many unique 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 numbers we can remove. Uh, right? Yeah. We just to say. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's just create a count. Count. Uh. Uh. Removed count. So we remove it plus count. 
if we remove it and the what if there is still uh, wait a minute if there is there is nothing we can remove we stop right and uh, we need hold removed unique count zero if if we could you we could if we could remove it I mean that means that means removed count must be smaller or equal to uh, k right it means when this number is removed we have removed this amount of elements if it is smaller or equal to k we could okay if we could remove it then this should be plus one right yeah if not it means we remove too much so we break right and then we return what return the remove return the uh, unique counts done in this total account and uh, the removed count right remove unique count yeah that's it yeah let's try this example too works like a charm if it's four if it's four uh, we still we could remove one right remove this to one so we got one we should return one yeah submit and uh, let's analyze our time complexity here of course here should be linear time um, n means the number of uh, this array and uh, the set uh, we use a map so this was cost space of linear space uh, of course, the sort here, it's n log n, right? And this is another for loop. This is n time. So, totally, the time, it would be n log n space linear. Yeah, that's all for this problem. Uh, this is my solution. I'm not sure whether... I, I believe that there might be uh, better approaches, but uh, this one it looks uh, straightforward to me. So yeah, that's all for this one. Hope it helps. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.